Hey there, Lunar Knights, and welcome back to, once again, another Scene Squares video. So today we are looking at a commenter suggestion of a Lilo and Stitch Scene Square, and a custom one, which is this clone outpost over here. So this one's going to be cool. We got Variety, one of the new Disney-themed ones, and also going back to an old Star Wars one, which I have not previously shown. So starting off, we will get right into the commenter suggestion with the Lilo and Stitch one. So I'll move this out of the way. Oh, I just broke the umbrella off. But that's fine because you just got to attach it right there. And it is back to regular. So this is a Lilo and Stitch one. Um, pretty basic. I'll get the minifigures up here. So I got the Stitch from the Disney Collectible minifigure series. I also have this custom Lilo, but I couldn't find a face for it. So I'm using Tinkerbell's body, um, one of the like hula girls from the minifigure series to get that hair piece. Um, couldn't find the right hair, um, a right face piece, so I just left it blank. Um, short legs, and then the same hula girls um, wrap for the bottom legs to give her sort of that skirt or dress. Um, so for the actual build, um, pretty simple. I just made a little bit of water here because I didn't want to make it like. A building or anything from the movie because I wanted it to be able to fit in anywhere in my mock. That's why I had the water and the sand because they'll blend in well. Um, just a little different like color color differences down here. Um, a shell over here, a little clam shell, and an umbrella over here, which is actually a really cool build for an umbrella, I would say, because um, it's got a wheel piece on the bottom, sort of the just holding it up. Um, yellow, purple on the top using a flower piece. Just tons of wood pieces holding it in. Um, so I thought that was cool. I'm a little mound of sand in the back. That's not really much. Just to give it more than one flat layer. Um, there's also this green lounge. Like lounge resting area right here. So you can lay out on the beach. Um, pretty simple. Um, just different blues. Tried to keep the tan around the base around the back and stuff. So, I think this one turned out pretty well, um, and we'll move on to the clone one next. So, moving on to the clone base, you can see this is a bit of an interesting one, because it's an actual full, complete building for the scene squares. You can see that it wraps all the way around the back, this little outpost tower. Um, and I have displayed four minifigures. There's one inside, but you can't really see them that well. Um, but I will open it up and show you the inside after I'm done with the outside. So, we have a clone guarding the outside um on the top i have this little um um like clone or republic sticker on the front to show who owns this base um i really like this like the railing around the top because it uses um rims for wheels um just on hinges to put them up so i can sort of put my minifigures in there then lower them so it's easier to put them in um, there's not any on the back because there's a little bit of a control panel in front of him. It's a little bit hard to see, so I'll move him so you can see that better, just in there. Um, quite a bit of standing room up there, so you can fit two, maybe even three people up there. Uh, bionic piece around the back just to give it a little bit more detail than the plane that was originally on the front, but then I decided to put the logo up here. Um, and I will, and you can see the grass up here, but I will cut to... Um, in the future when I do get the roof off so I can show you the interior So now that I have the roof off you can see that there's no real clear Connection points to it just since these are like very large wall pieces on the bottom It doesn't really fall apart or do anything like that. I um, mean you can see we got a control panel Back there that that clone seems to be using. I'll just move him out of the way um, That is on hinges so you can position that but I like it straight up so that's all on the side to give it that sort of upwards appearance. Um, it's still grass on the inside because this isn't like a permanent base. They just set this up for a short time. Um, so yeah, since this is grass, it can connect to a whole bunch of different ones. And I will be back when I connect to these two other sets. Alright guys, so I have it set up now. You can see it doesn't even fit on my uh, my white background anymore. So this is actually pretty interesting how big this is getting. So maybe I'll have to make it wider, more of an actual big square of scene squares. That would be kind of cool to have on display. Um, so you can see I have put 
the clone base over here, and there's a new square here. I was going to wait and do a separate video on that, but I sort of needed it for this one because it blends the brown and the green so well together with that blend. So it was originally farmland, but it could just be marshes for the clones to go through. So I have this little farm right here, but you can move them, get them out of the way, and that can just be some land for the troops to go out on. Um, so that blended from... So there was the whole crate, which blended into Starkiller Base. Starkiller Base went on. Um, and then the lava went from Starkiller Base to Mustafar. Then the brown went to the farmland. Then the green went to the green base for the clones. So it's really cool how these all connect up. Um, now if I move this around a little bit, we just might be able to get it on. Nope, I have to move my camera because this is getting so big. So now you can see how I connected the um, Lilo and Stitch one. I blended the tan from back in the Geonosis and Latin area with the water or the sky that is with the um, Mookie platform. So you can see that that water will blend in and make like might do an island here or something something there that has the water to connect it all up um so i think that ended out pretty cool and it connects really well right here with the different types of blue and the beach um so i think this is turning out great how huge it's getting it's just crazy for me to think about sorry about the shaky camera there had to get it back set up so this is not like a pile of books my camera is right now like because my current stand cannot even see this much stuff and you still can't see it that well like i mean i don't know guys it's getting pretty big make sure to leave suggestions so that you can get yours built just like the lilo and stitch one did because this is turning out pretty great and you guys getting involved is always great um really like gets that connection between the youtuber to the commenters and the subscribers so I really like that um, with a lot of my YouTubers, so I really tried to do that with you guys responding to every comment. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys will check out some more of my scene squares. Feel free to do more scene squares on your channel if you have a LEGO channel like mine. Um, just be sure to comment on one of my videos telling me that you're going to do one. Maybe shout me out in the video. Um, and I'll check it out, and I will see what you did. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one, Lunarianites.